planet Earth, home to over six billion people. Today, our very existence is threatened by epidemics, climate change, and dwindling resources. Welcome to Zombieland. A, B, N. It's headphones, Neil! What's up guys, and well, Neil here, back with another quick film review, and in this case is going to be the two film, uh, I guess duology, I'm not quite sure what to call it, of Zombieland and Zombieland Double Tap. So Double Tap was on sale on Prime Day, so I figured I would give it a buy, especially since I liked um, the first Zombieland, and then I got to thinking that I would watch both films just to see how they hold up back to back, how the sequel holds up to the original, especially since I have fond memories of the original film. So in watching the first film, overall I still enjoy it. I like the rules with Jesse Eisenberg, I like Woody Harrelson's character, I like the meetup with um, Emma Stone and her the sister lady that played her, her sister on in the movie and all of that. I like the basically just all the character interactions and the interactions with the zombies that they had so there's very little that I disliked about it and the one piece that I totally forgot about was that Bill Murray was in the film so I saw his name show up on the credits I'm like wait he's in the movie and then um, when, they, when they get to the part at the mansion and um, he comes out pretending to be a zombie and all of that was really good so I generally liked Bill Murray's cameo in the film so there's that and then apparently there's a end credit scene with Bill Murray and Woody Harrelson about the um, gopher scene from Caddyshack. So all in all a very good film and um, it still holds up. So going into Zombieland Double Tap, I found that the film did actually, actually did not suffer from the sequel issue issues that most films have that they don't really hold up to the original they don't really capture the spark of the original or anything like that so for me double tap actually was about as good of a film as the original so it does rely heavily on having seen the first film so if you do watch double tap a lot of stuff isn't going to really make sense unless you watch the first film first so putting that aside double tap um builds up on the original in a couple in um one key way in that zombies have evolved to the point where rather than just the shambling zombies and mildly running zombies that we saw in the first film there's now various classes so think along the lines but not quite as far gone as the um, zombies that we see in army of the dead so it's kind of towing the middle line between the traditional zombies that we see and um, zombies with higher mind brain functions um, so in double tap we have zombies that are running and think generally more thinking as far as their targets and going after them and then we have the dumber version like they say in the movie there's the homer versions that kind of still shamble about they're easy to trick easy to fool, fool but you have the um, T-800 or T-8000 model like the Terminators that move quickly can figure stuff out and they go after their or basically they can marginally analyze the situation and go after what they want to go after so in general I liked the progression that they held in this film and then they had little interactions like with uh, Luke Wilson and the other guy being the doppelganger for Woody Harrelson and Jesse Eisenberg so that made me think that maybe one of the characters from the movie was in Seinfeld or something like that because it felt very much like that episode where we had the Seinfeld um, crew and then we had their um, doppelgangers so um, generally that was a very good thing um, and I think Woody Harrelson might have been um, the character in Seinfeld but uh, don't quote me to that but in any case um, that doppelganger scene was good it was nice to see um, Rosario Dawson in the film as a Woody Harrelson's love interest so when watching the double tap overall it generally just worked I liked um, the whole thing with um, 
Emma Stone's sister in the movie wanting to leave the group and give up her the violent ways and how hard Woody Harrelson's character took that so all in all they didn't succumb to the problems of the first film so um, if I was to grade both films so overall as far as the films go together I'd probably give them a solid grade of about an A um, individually I'd probably give them maybe about an A minus to a B plus um, they're you know not high cinema but they're funny enough and it's one of those things where you learn about the characters in the first film so you're invested in them and then the second film um, is one of those things where it's like okay you have that's you know typical Woody Harrelson typical Jesse Eisenberg typical Emma Stone all you since you now know the personalities of all the characters the second movie is that much more entertaining and and to not really put down Rosario Dawson's character but if you've seen her acting in any other shows where she's kind of being peppy and funny and that sort of stuff that's kind of what she brings here and it generally just works for the film even though she was just brought in in this in um, the second film so I can't there's not really very much I want to say that's negative about the films they're both very enjoyable and they're both I think they think they're like an hour and 40 minutes or each or something like that they're not very long so watching them in one evening is very doable and very fun um, to watch so in general I would give both films a recommendation to watch they're both still good even though um, Double Tap came out about 10 years after the original um, it still works and it's still a good they're both still good films so they could have both been released you know within a few years of each other and I now kind of want a third film but it's hard to say what they would do now so in the first film they were in Hollywood and they went to Bill Murray's house the second film they were um, at the White House in Graceland so all kind of all over the place so I'm not sure what they would do for the uh, the third film so the default answer or, or um, off the top of my head my answer would be that they go to New York and they spend time in Wall Street I guess um, so I'm not sure what they would do there or how that would all pan out but the other option of course would be or the other default answer would be to go to Vegas and have a film there but since we just did Army of the Dead if they release the movie in a, you know a year that wouldn't be something that would be feel original but you know if they wait another few years and they release um, um, Zombieland 3 to make reference to the number 3 on Woody Harrelson's car um, or Zombieland or Hot or, or something like that I guess I don't know something some in-joke movie that would work so um, I wouldn't mind if they go to New York and to Vegas or even if they do it in one film like in this in um, the case of the first two films they start in one location and end up going to another place so even if they start in New York and end up going to um, Vegas or vice versa that would be okay with me so um, that would kind of hold with the theme of the first two films. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or feedback or anything like that, then you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, um, and all that good stuff. And of course, by supporting the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01, you get access to upcoming and early content. Yeah, free versions of the show and all of that good stuff. Um, and so for patrons, before we get into the next uh, review, which as a general um, teaser announcement for everybody, is going to be a TV show review. There's going to be a um, couple random film reviews and a couple of blog posts coming out in the next uh, week or two. I'm going to shoot for the in the coming week, but it um, depends on how the scheduling goes. I will give myself the next couple of weeks before I get into that TV show review. So that's all there is for this particular review. So thanks for tuning in and supporting the show and subscribing and all of that good stuff. And until next time.